At least two teens are hospitalized after being hit by a car and sent flying through the air. It happened right at the intersection of 3600 West and 2100 North in Lehigh earlier this afternoon. Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox is live at the scene right now. Aaron, what have you learned? Now, Kelly and Bob, police tell me two teenagers were standing at the median of this intersection waiting to cross the street when a car veered off the road and hit them. They have both been sent to Primary Children's Hospital. Cars pass by as police investigate what happened Friday afternoon. At 4.30, a boy about 13 years old and a girl about 15 waited to cross this busy intersection in Lehigh. A driver in his silver Chrysler was passing the intersection when he veered off the road. It left the intersection entering that island and struck both pedestrians, throwing them approximately 100 feet into that uh, grassy median area behind me there. That's when 911 calls flooded the Lehigh Police Department and drivers stopped to help the teenagers. They're rushing across the street, a busy street at that, 2100 North here, um, to take care of people that they don't know. Um, and so I'm grateful for them. The 15 year old was flown to Primary Children's Hospital and the 13 year old was taken by ambulance to Primary Children's. For me, uh, we want to make sure that they're okay. You know, obviously we're, we, we have high hopes at this point, but I think that's the biggest concern right now is we're, we're all pretty worried, uh, you know, to make sure that they're okay. Yet. Now, at the time that I spoke with police, they were not even sure if the family had been notified at that time. They are hoping the kids are in the best condition possible. Now, as as far as the driver goes, he was a 30 year old man and police say he has been in co-op. He has been cooperating with their investigation. They took him back to the police station where they are checking to see if he was impaired, possibly with narcotics. Live in Lehigh, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.